Hi everyone, I'm David and today I'll be showing you how to design a variation of a cantilever snap fit ideal for FDM printing. For my design I'll be adding a cantilever to this Raspberry Pi Zero case. The two most common snap fits in 3D printing are cantilever and annular snap fits. In this example I will be modeling a cantilever for simplicity reasons. I have already prepared this case and will start with the bottom part. I will hide the Raspberry Pi in the assembly view. And we will also have a section view just to see the part in half. I will start with adding some additional material behind the area where I want to prepare the cutout. To do so, I activate the bottom part and we'll start drawing on the middle plane. First, I create myself some reference geometry by intersecting this face. And then, I will add some material behind here where my cutout will be coming from the outside. Here I define my sketch. I just want to add one millimeter of additional material. And I just want all the angles to be 45 degrees because that will make printing easier and won't require any support materials. I will use the extrude feature and extrude 3 mm symmetrically on both sides. Turn off the section view so I can see it. I will also add a draft on both sides. Also here we'll choose 45 degrees which will help with the load distribution. Next I'll return to my section view to actually start the cutout. Also here I will create a sketch on the middle plane. I will create some reference geometry by intersecting this face. To make 3D printing very easy, I'll choose a 45 degree angle. I will make the two lines equal and then finish my sketch and cut away the material. The length I choose is 3 mm symmetrical in both directions. Now turn off the analysis to exit the section view. You can see that I have added the material in the back and have created the cutout slot in the front. What I will do now is mirror the slot to the other side of the part as well. Therefore I choose the three features I want to mirror and choose the middle plane as a mirror plane.
Next I will start designing the counterpart. The actual cantilever and interlocking feature on the top part of the case. I have activated the top part. Also here we'll look at the section view. I will start a sketch on the middle plane. And create some reference geometry by intersecting this surface. Then I'll create a simple triangle shape to actually lock into the cutout on the other half. I dimension this to be protruding just one millimeter. Also here I'll be using a 45 degree angle for easy printability and no need for supports. Finish my sketch and I'll extrude that by 3mm in both directions. After I have turned off the section view, I can see I have my cantilever feature. On one side and we'll just mirror that to the other side as well. Choose the mirror feature, choose the middle plane as a mirror plane. And there we go, we have it on both sides. Alright, let's go back to the full assembly. Just have a quick look at how the cantilever looks in the section view. There are no collisions, so it should be fine. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next